Frontier Communications is expected to file for bankruptcy in the spring, but it's important to note that may simply mean a reorganization of debt to find a sustainable path forward. Union workers are protected by their contract from layoffs until October of 2022, and customers may see no change at all. Norwalk-based Frontier Communications is a company in transition. For the last several years, we've seen no investment in Connecticut no investment in jobs. And now, word that Frontier is planning to file for bankruptcy has workers worried. Frontier employee and CWA local union president David Weidlich. Our main concern is about how does it impact our jobs and the people that live in Connecticut. Frontier has more than 16 billion in debt with 365 million due to be paid back in March. Frontier told Fox 61, quote, Frontier's business and operations are solid and serving our customers remains our top priority. As we've said publicly, Frontier is evaluating its capital structure with an eye to reducing debt and interest expense so as to better be able to serve our customers. Five years ago, Frontier's stock traded at $125 a share, now just over 50 cents. Frontier's troubles began in 2014 with a botched takeover of AT&T. We found that Frontier had inferior systems. According to Weidlich, compounded by a 2016 purchase of Verizon networks in California, Florida, and Texas. It made a lot of customers leave the business. He's hopeful new CEO Bernie Hahn, who led a turnaround at Dish Network, can be a change agent. Make the customers happy, grow the business, and tackle the debt problem. A tall task in an industry of constant change. Media studies professor at Quinnipiac University, Kirsten Wesner. In that landscape, it's difficult to survive using the same business models that they've been using. As more customers abandon their landline telephones and cut the cable cord in favor of streaming services. We've had issues with streaming competing with cable services for a long time, and there's been a history of cord cutting and this is kind of the inevitable conclusion. Although based in Connecticut, Frontier services 29 states and has been seeing its customer base and its workforce shrink. In the studio, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.